All right, today we have a 2003 Saturn Ion. Um, and let's start it up. Okay. All right, and as you can see, get our mileage up there. As you can see, it's got 139,457 miles on it. Um, no lights, uh, everything, you know, good running little car. Um, and it's pretty basic as far as equipment goes. You have your horn, obviously your wiper blades, um, radio. And most punchable faces. I'm gonna right, let's see if we can actually get some music here. All right, so you can see our radio there, and of course your heat and air conditioning. So today it is actually pretty cold out. And I can feel the heat coming out. Oh, it's wrong way. Feel it warm, yeah. So the heat's coming out nice and warm there. All right, and that's really it. So you see we got crank windows, manual adjustable mirror. Um, it is an automatic, as you can see there. Okay, and our handbrake is right here in the middle as well. So like I said, pretty basic vehicle. Um, so, oh, let me turn the seat off. All right, so now let's check out the motor. All right, so I believe this is a 2.2 uh, four-cylinder. Yeah, 2.2 liter four-cylinder motor. Now I'll just be quiet and let you guys listen to it uh, as I rev it up. All right, as you can hear, you know, it's a good running little car. Um, I'll have a quick look around the engine compartment here. Okay. All right. So there's a look at that. All right. All right. The next thing we're going to check out is our tire uh, tread depth on our tires here. We'll start with our front driver's side tire. Okay. And that's right at 4:30 seconds on our front. We'll move to our rear tire. Seems to be a lot better on the rear. And that's about, uh, I'd say, a little less than 8, 8.30 seconds on our rear tire there. <clears throat> Moving along to this side. Okay. That's again at 8.30 seconds there on our rear tire. And then our other front tire. Okay. 3.30 seconds there on this front tire. So, you know, the front's a little more worn than the rear. Um, but they're, they're the tread depth measurements. All right, so now let's have a look at the interior. Like I said, pretty basic as far as equipment and everything. There's a look at our dash in pretty good shape. Um, you know, and our center console. Okay, and have a look at our seat. You see a little bit of staining uh, in the passenger seat. It is cloth. And the floor as well, a little bit of staining. And again, like I said, pretty simple. So it's just the manual slide seats on both sides. All right, manual window. There's our door panel. Okay, let's have a look at our door jams. Okay. Nice and clean, shiny paint all the way around there. And then the door itself. And then all the way down low. All right, so as you can see, pretty clean all the way around on the doors. All right, so let's have a look at our seats again in the rear. A little bit of staining, but not nearly as much as on the front. All right. And the same thing with the floor. Okay. All right, and again, our door panel, crank windows in the back as well. Just crank right there. And our door chain. Down low. And on the door itself. 
Here's a shot of our door all the way down low, and again, nice and shiny, clean all the way through, no corrosion or anything down low on the doors. All right, so here's our trunk. See, that's good all the way around. Okay, and our trunk space. All right, and of course, it does have the releases for the uh, back seats, so you can fold those down if you need the extra space. Let's step around to the other back seat. See a little more staining on the seat. And there's the floor. Okay, and our, let's do our door panel first. Okay, and our door jams. All right, and here you can see there's a little bit of body damage. Uh, this panel's cracked because, of course, these Saturns are all plastic, and that's been cracked there as well. And down low, nice and clean. Let's have a look at our door, all the way around the edge, and then down low. All right, you can see that's pretty clean down there as well. There's one little, like, nick in the uh, armrest there. All right, and then to our driver's seat. Right, see a little more staining on the driver's seat. And our floor. Alright, now it does have an adjustable seat. It's not power, but you can move the seat up just by cranking this or down. Alright, and of course, like I said, everything's manual there. Okay. And our door does have power door locks though. See the switch right there. <clears throat> Alright, there's our door jam and then down low into our molding. And the door itself. Okay. Alright, so there you go. There's the interior of the vehicle. Alright, now let's have a look at the exterior. As you can see, it's all black. Okay, nice shiny plastic panels all the way around with a few exceptions. I already showed you the one, but there's another little spot on the other side we'll get to in a second. All right, I will say these panels right here, these accent panels, are a different color. It's like a light silver gray. All right. And they are like that on both sides. Just a shot of our roof. Okay. And we'll go back to our quarter panel here. I kind of skipped over that. See, it's nice and shiny. Again on our driver's side, there's one little spot there. Right down the All right, and then our door. This side. Okay. And then, like I we talked about this one earlier, there's our uh, crack in the panel right there. The rest of the panel's in pretty good shape. Okay, let's move around here. I'm gonna shot in the corner here. And then the top of our trunk. Okay. And then the bumper itself. Alright, so there's that. Step back and give me a shot of the corner here. Alright, again, again, same thing with these uh, panels on top. There are that just a different color, that's all. You know, they're in pretty good shape, they're just a different color. Here's our roof. Okay, and here's our rear panel here. See a little bit of scratching right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. All right, we do have a couple spots. There's a spot there, there, and then one scratch. All right, but overall, you know, that door's in pretty good shape. And here's our front passenger door on the passenger side. Good shape there, and then our other quarter panel on the passenger side. All right. Okay, and let's get to our hood. We have about uh, I see three dents. There's one little one there, one smaller one, and then right there. Uh, but as you can see, if I step back, 
paint's in good shape, uh, no rust or anything, not even really any chips coming out of the, the hood, so it's in pretty good shape there. Got nice shiny headlights. And there's a down low shot of our bumper here. All right, so there it is, folks. 2003 Saturn Ion automatic um, with, I, I believe it was 136,000 miles. And now we're going to take it out on a quick test drive. All right, folks, so now we're going to take this 2003 uh, Saturn Ion uh, out on a quick test drive up and down the road here. So I'm going to start it up. All right, as you can see, it starts right up there. Um, we did have it running for a little bit, so it did warm up. So as you can see, I, even after running for a little while, it has no problem starting right up. All right, um, I forgot to mention this earlier. We did have a new ignition put in this thing. So the ignition's brand new. There's no issue as far as uh, that goes, because that is a, a common issue with a lot of Saturn. So that's been taken care of. All right, so now let's get it out on the road. Alright guys, and there we go, no problem, all the way up to about 50 miles an hour, nice and smooth. Okay, and as you can see, tracking nice and straight down the road, hands off the steer of the wheel there. Alright. Okay, um, like I said, you know, it, you know, nice and smooth, uh, ride and as far as it shifted. Uh, motor seems strong and that's running good. Um, so really overall kind of is just a simple little four-cylinder car. You know, it doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles, but it's something that seems to run pretty good. Um, as far as road noise, didn't hear a lot of that. It is maybe a little clunky in the back here, but so far the roads actually are pretty smooth. And you didn't really notice much of that, but you know, if you hit some bumps, you do hear a clunk every now and again out of the back end. Same thing. All right, same thing, guys, all the way up to fifty miles an hour, no problem. All right, so now what we're gonna do is when we get up to this lot across from our car lot here, I'm gonna pull in there and just give it a nice hard brake check and some loose gravel. Um, and that'll kind of show you how the car brakes and everything. Okay, here we go. I'll actually go back to my normal spot because the construction's all gone. All right. All right, as you can see, the car stops in a nice straight line. Uh, our wheel wasn't pulling, uh, the car wasn't pulling one way or the other, and uh, the, the wheel really didn't swing one way to the other uh, either way, so that's a good sign. It means our brakes took us to a nice state, safe stop there. Okay. All right, as you can hear on that bump there, it's a little clunky, like I said, in the back. But you know, overall, like I said, um, good running, simple little four-cylinder car, doesn't have a lot of equipment, but, you know, most people don't need that. Something. But if you're just looking for maybe a cheap commuter car, maybe even a first car, uh, that, that might be good for you. So let me give you one last walk around. All right, and let me uh, address, I did say 136 earlier in the video, it's 139, so that's our mileage there, 139458. We have a quick look around the car again, you know, pretty uh, pretty much in all these Saturns, bodies are normally in really good shape with the exception of uh, the hood and the trunk because everything is plastic. All right, so we know there's that one broken panel. Other than that, paint's in good shape. Um, you know, there's not any clear coat or any issues like that, so it's a nice shiny black car. <coughs> all right. And one last thing before we go, we do have a 2017 New Jersey State Inspection on it. So if you're a New Jersey resident, uh, you're still good, you know, for another year, basically, um, from today.
All right, so thanks for watching, folks, and we hope to hear from you soon.